Well, folks, we're starting the year with some really unfortunate news for all of the Marjorie Taylor Greene fans in my audience. Our queen has been banned permanently, kind of. Now, I say kind of because her personal account on Twitter has been banned. However, she still has her official lawmaker account, so she still has the capability of tweeting her misinformation and stupidity. But the difference is she can't do it from her more popular account. And what's interesting is that she had ample warning to kind of prevent this. So I'm kind of led to believe that this is actually something that she wanted, contrary to popular belief. But first, let's get to the details here. Kenny Stansel of Common Dreams explains, Twitter has banned for good the personal account of Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene because the Georgia Republican, a longtime purveyor of anti-vaccine and other dangerous conspiracies, refused to stop spreading deadly disinformation about the coronavirus pandemic. We permanently suspended Marjorie Taylor Greene for repeated violations of our COVID-19 misinformation policy, Twitter said Sunday in a statement, as first reported by CNN's Donnie O'Sullivan. We've been clear that per our strike system for this policy, we will permanently suspend accounts for repeated violations of the policy. In March, Twitter announced that it would permanently suspend accounts that received five or more strikes or notifications about posts containing misleading information about COVID-19 vaccines. Nevertheless, Green proceeded to keep spewing lies about the life-saving jabs, including on Saturday when she tweeted falsely that the federal government was ignoring extremely high amounts of COVID vaccine deaths, the New York Times reported. Now, we'll get to her response, but before we even talk about that, we already know the dialogue that will happen as a result of this ban you know the free speech absolutists will say that she shouldn't have been banned and the people who say well she violated tos will defend this ban um and look when it comes to this particular issue i don't necessarily care about marjorie taylor green it's not a real ban if she still has a way of tweeting she still has her official account as a lawmaker but Let's just put things into perspective. The only reason why people are even talking about this is because Marjorie Taylor Greene is an elitist, right? She's a political elitist. If I was banned from YouTube, if you were banned, nobody would bat an eye. But because this is an elite, well, it's a story. Because she's a politician, this is a story. So keep that in mind if you do intend on defending her. Now, to Marjorie Taylor Greene's defense, I mean, there are other people who are much more dangerous when it comes to vaccine misinformation tucker carlson is perhaps the worst offender here but i mean he doesn't necessarily tweet that information he does it from the safety of his fox news platform where they vehemently defend him so you know you can say that there is indeed a double standard having said that though if i violated the tos as she did i mean i would be banned and nobody would talk about it so you know regardless of how you feel um, I think that Marjorie Taylor Greene is coming at this from an entirely different perspective because I think that she actually wanted to be banned because this feeds into the conservative persecution complex narrative that she's trying to craft. And also, she can fundraise off of it, which we will get to. But this is her response immediately following her ban. She wrote on Getter, which I guess is an alternative to Twitter for conservatives, when Maxine Waters can go to the streets and threaten violence on Twitter, Kamala and Ilhan can bail out rioters on Twitter. Wait, threaten violence on Twitter? Twitter. I, I don't understand her comment about Maxine Waters. Anyways, Kamala and Ilhan can bail out rioters on Twitter, i.e. donate to uh, people who were unjustly brutalized by police during the Black Lives Matter protests. Um, and chief spokesman for terrorist IRGC can tweet morning Solomoni, but I get suspended for tweeting their statistics. Twitter is an enemy to America and can't handle the truth. That's fine. I'll show America we don't need them, and it's time to defeat our enemies. Now, let me explain to you my theory as to why I think she actually wanted this. Any normal person who saw that they had three strikes and knew that a fifth strike would result in a ban, like at strike number three, at most strike number four, you're thinking, okay, maybe I should rein it in. I don't want to get banned. I do use this platform. I mean, when I had a strike from YouTube back in 2017, 2018, even if I don't believe that was a just strike. It wasn't my fault. It was a false copyright claim by CBS because I used like 30 seconds of their clip. It falls under the guidance of fair use. But even with that in mind, you know, I knew that if I got three strikes, my channel was gone. So I had to be careful. I had to change the way that I use clips, at least temporarily, to make sure that I wasn't permanently banned because that would be bad. But she knew this and she just kept going. Now, part of it is stupidity. Yes, I'll grant you that. But additionally, I mean, I think that she wanted to be banned given what she did following her ban. 
she fundraised off of this. And her fundraising email that she sent was quite a banger. The title is, The Silicon Valley Cartel Finally Pulled the Trigger, Twitter Permanently Banned My Account. And she writes, The next step is never Trump rhinos Adam Kinzinger and Liz Cheney colluding with communist Democrats like Adam Schiff on the January 6th witch hunt committee to throw me in jail while she has quite the imagination and misunderstanding of communism. The big tech censors fear me speaking the truth and silenced me just like they banned President Trump for exposing the D.C. swamps, lies, corruption, and fraud. Now more than ever, I need your help to fight back. She needs your help with money, by the way. First, I need you to sign your stand with MTG statement of support to show I count on you in the fight against the big tech censorship. This is the only way I can guarantee that you'll be able to hear straight from me without being censored. After you sign your statement of support, please rush an emergency contribution of $500 <laughs> right away so I can keep fighting back against left-wing cancel culture. See, without your $500 contribution, which is what I'm assuming this donor gave, like a lot of money, so they kind of base it, I think, on how much that donor in particular gives. But without that $500 donation, see, she wouldn't be able to fight back against big tech censorship by just saying stupid things and incoherent things on like Steve Bannon's podcast. See, as a lawmaker, someone in a position of power, she couldn't say introduce legislation to fight back. No, she needs your money to fight back. She's definitely not taking advantage of you. No, mm -mm. if you support Marjorie Taylor Greene, you are not um, you are not being duped by her. No way. No way. So look, um, she's banned. And I honestly think that she likes it. Now, of course, this is just speculation, but a lot of people on the right kind of like being martyrs because it helps them regardless if you're a politician or a podcaster if you're a politician you could do what marjorie green did and fundraise off of it if you're a podcaster you can get banned and then say hey everyone i really need you to support my patreon or Substack or whatever so you know it, i think it's a win-win for her it's a win-win for the right it feeds into their narrative but overall it's a lose-lose for america because we don't get those hot takes from her anymore which i'm not gonna lie i kind of enjoyed in a really weird way but either way, they took our Dami Mommy Marjorie from us and never let them forget what they took from us or never forget what they took from us. I'm trying to like meme, but I'm just tired. So fuck it. She's banned. And yeah, I think she wanted it, honestly. I'm going to come. Do not come. 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 Come, 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 come.